I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. What up? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not a makeup look, but, 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 but. It's gonna be a good one, okay? Let's jump down into this skin. Roll the intro. How's the honey beauty bees? It's me, Byron Shears, busy bee, you gay bae. Okay, and I'm back. Back with another video here on our channel. If you are already a beauty bee, what up? If you are not, what are you waiting for? Go ahead on and hit the subscribe button down below, turn it from red to gray. Next to it, a bell will appear. Hit the bell and make sure you click all, okay? That way you can get all of the videos that I'm going to release here on our channel. And also, when you do that, you can now say that you are a beauty bee because if you are not subscribed to this channel, you are not a beauty bee. That's just how it goes. I'm so sorry, okay? But all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell, and boom, you're a beauty bee. You can hang around, but whatever you do, make sure you do not get stuck. <laughs> Today, we are going to get into skincare. So, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because so many people give me great compliments on my skin. Skin is a huge part of our lives, whether we know it or not, it's the largest organ on our body, and it is also what people see first, typically when they see us. You look at someone's skin, their teeth, skin is extremely important skin also changes so we have to change with our skin oftentimes you guys compliment me on my makeup and the thing is skincare is a huge part of makeup application prepping your skin the right way allows for the makeup to lay seamlessly and beautifully onto the skin so you always want to make sure that you're prepping the skin the right way so that way you can get the maximum results of your foundation and the maximum results of your makeup. Today, I just wanted to make a video strictly about my skin, okay? What I use on my skin, how do I get my skin ready, prepped, and prepared for makeup? So I'll give you a few products that I use there and also like what do I use just on my skin um, normally. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys normally what I would use on my skin. Also going to dive into just a little bit of some tools that I use that actually help me elevate my skincare. I use these things all the time and people constantly give me compliments on my skin. Skincare is the first step to flawless, flawless makeup. So I was thinking for, especially for the holidays, even though some of us are still in quarantine, I know everyone is not in quarantine. Some of us, we are still in quarantine, okay? So we're not going anywhere. But if you are going somewhere, if you have a special FaceTime, Zoom call, or just you wanna go and check out your boo, this is definitely gonna be a great video for you because I'm gonna give you tips, tricks on what you can do exactly for your skin to prepare your skin so your makeup can look bomb, okay? Absolutely bomb, all right? So if that's something that you're interested in, please make sure you keep watching. Before we even get into product, I wanna talk about two tools in particular. So the first tool being a brush. So this is a Clarisonic brush. This deep cleanses the skin and it definitely gets the skin a lot cleaner than my bare hands could ever possibly get my skin. And I also wanna show you guys my skin buddy. So this also cleanses the skin, but it's brush free. So this one is supposed to be a whole lot better for the skin opposed to the brush. It also has UV lighting, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a bit. This does not have that. However, it does penetrate and it does 
clean the skin in a very good way. But they said that the brushes are not the best. I'm not 100% sure. I do use a brush to get the color out of my beard because I still color my beard. However, I don't use this as much. I'm not gonna link this down below. I will find one to link though, just in case you want one. But this is a smart profile from Clarisonic and they no longer make this. So yeah, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to find this particular one. But I used this for a while until I won a giveaway on Instagram and I won this baby. And this puppy is pretty darn expensive. I will link her down below, but let me tell you, I would purchase this again. I may end up giving this one to my mom and picking up the black one because if I was purchasing it, of course I would have purchased the black one over the white one. But this really, really, really works, okay? so. These two products in particular, I wanted to come and show you guys because uh, when you are purchasing skincare products and you're really getting into your skincare, you want to make sure that you purchase a buddy or maybe like a brush or an extra exfoliator because these are companion products and they really, really help your skincare, okay? so. Either one of these, whether you do a brush or you go brush free like the My Skin Buddy, uh, they basically help whatever products you are currently using in your skincare routine, which is great. You definitely want to get something like this. So that's why I wanted to go ahead on and talk about these first. And the reason why I wanted to speak about these first, because this is very important in your skincare, okay? You won't be able to get your skin as clean, especially if you're wearing makeup and you're watching my channel, as heavy as the makeup I wear. You wanna make sure that you have something where you can really extract that makeup out of your pores, really get all that builds up, all of that backed up oil from your sebaceous glands. You wanna make sure that you have something that's going to, uh, remove that without stripping the skin of its natural oils and without like really stripping your skin, okay? So make sure you get something that's going to help uh, your products penetrate a lot deeper. I would suggest the My Skin Buddy, but again, like I said, I'll link both of them down below. Also, with the Smart Profile, I just wanted to say from Clarisonic, fellas, bonus. I have a brush here, it's an older brush, but uh, it's not that old, it's about two months old, I think, two, three months old, which is kind of old, but I don't use it all the all the time, but I only use this brush just to remove the color from out of my beard, and it's amazing for this. When I say amazing for it, it actually removes the color from my skin, and it leaves the color on the hair, so I just wanted to throw that out there. So in this video, I'm gonna use the My Skin Buddy because it has the UV lights on the My Skin Buddy and it's pretty darn amazing. I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what it's gonna do for my skin in just a moment. So normally I double cleanse my skin and I really like the Tatcha, the deep, uh, the deep cleanse because it's gentle and it has little beads in it. I really, really, really like this one. This one is really, really nice. And then I have a foaming cleanser, which is a lot lighter, and it's from Exuviance, and it's the resurfacing glycolic wash. So this one is really, really good because it helps when we texture onto my skin. Uh, if you are of a certain age or you battle with texture on your skin or you have lots of acne or Pro acne problematic skin, you might definitely want to try this if you don't have like any harsh abrasions. So if you don't have any cracked skin or broken skin on your face, then try this. If you have broken skin on your face, don't try it, okay? But if you have problems with texture on your skin, um, definitely give this a try. This is great. So I like to use these and I'll show you how now. So for the first round, I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm not gonna use the My Skin Buddy, and I'm just gonna use a bit of the Tatcha. Just a small bit of the Tatcha. 
And I'm going to start off with my T-zone area. And of course, I'm going to get my neck. You can go down a little further if you like. But I really love the Tatcha because it has the beads in it. It feels extremely gentle and nice over the skin. And if you want, you can actually use the My Face Buddy right now for this step. I honestly don't like to. I'll use it for the next one. And I just go right in. And I just give myself a massage. With that Tatcha Gentle Exfoliator. Working up. The bridge of the nose and out. And not forgetting my neck. So now that my skin is clean, I'm gonna use a white towel. Always use a white towel. Do not use a colored towel that has dyes in it when you're doing your skincare. Always, always make sure it's white. When you go to a spa, they're always white. They'll never ever be any other color but white, okay? So use a white, use a white towel. <sighs> and the second step we're gonna go in, which you'll see a lot, my steamer I love my steamer so I got this steamer from rude girl rude gal beauty again I'll link it um, down below in the description box there but I love this thing okay steaming makes your skin look amazing great tip when you're filling up your steamer I use bottled water I live, in, I live in a desert, so the water kind of sucks here. And I want my skin to look amazing. So I use bottled water in my steamer. Try it. So you just fill the back up, you load it. Just like sure. And you cut it on. Normally the same towel I use on my face. I'll put across my ball head just a little bit and take my steamer and let her do what she's supposed to do. Yes, my love. See what I mean? I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back, okay? Don't rush the process. Enjoy her. Utilize her. Do her. Work her. Feel her. Love her. Say a prayer. Affirmations. All day. All day. Fellas, this is great for ingrown hair. I just thought I'd tell you. So if you shave, get one of these, okay? Thank you. She even cuts off when she's done. I love that. Okay, so now that our skin is nice and wet, let's just go right in with the exuvians. I love... I probably overused it, but whatever. I want you guys to see it. I love this product. It's so good. I can feel it tingling already. Put it everywhere. We're gonna take our My Skin Buddy and we're just gonna slide that across the skin.
All right, so we've cleansed twice and I've used the My Skin Buddy once. And so now I'm gonna steam again. All right, so now that we're done with our second round of steaming, let's talk about our next step. Our next step is gonna be the essence. This step is extremely, extremely important. So I wasn't sure about an essence. As a matter of fact, this is the first essence I've ever owned. Definitely noticed a difference in my skincare when I use an essence. So an essence is basically the liquid version of the My Skin Buddy. It's to help really push the products down into the skin. So I think it's fermented rice or something like that. I don't know. I think they make it with rice. I think so. Don't quote me. I'm not getting into like full detail. All I'm telling you is that you need an essence, okay? So this one from Tatcha is the essence and you only need a little bit, like one, two. They say this is enough, but I like to do three, okay? And then I just take my fingers and I press it right down into my clean, steamed skin. So basically this is supposed to help make sure, like a vehicle for our other products. So they can really dive down and penetrate the skin. Hmm. So now we've cleansed twice, we've steamed twice, and we use our My Skin Buddy. And aside from that, we also use our essence. So the next step, we are going to tone our skin. And this, I'm using the Exuviance Hydro Prep Toner. This is a really, really good one. So I used to use the Soothing Toning Lotion from Exuviance. I've never used the Hydro Prep. Uh, I've switched over to this one. This one is brand new. So this is the newer packaging. It's all white with like this beautiful uh, mushroom taupey tone writing. Very, very pretty. This is the old packaging. So it's the white. It's hard to see with the lights, but it's white with the um, silver top. Actually, there's a corner left in here. No shade, and it's, I like this one, so I'm gonna use this one. Aren't these so cute? Can you guys see them? The lighting is horrible. How cute are these reusable cotton rounds that my babe Karen, K-Babe, she got me for my birthday. Aren't these cute? I just wanted to show you guys. I'm not gonna use them right now, but these are so cute. Thank you so much, Karen. So look, you take the toner, put it on the cotton round, put it on the cotton pad. I probably overused it, but whatever. My Skin Buddy. Cotton pad right on top. Cotton pad attachment to the My Skin Buddy. And it kind of works like that. Guys, can see that? So now I'm toning, I'm massaging, and I'm getting those great UV lights for anti aging. Bomb. Don't forget your neck and your decollete. 
I'm not getting all down there. But ladies, you can get all down there, okay? And I just want to say, all you need to clean your My Skin Buddy is a little alcohol. Spray it. And she wipes right clean. Brand new. I love this. So now we are going to mask. Okay, we've already toned the skin. Now we're gonna mask before we put on our serums. And I wanna introduce you guys to Miss Spa Mask. If you don't know about Miss Spa Mask, they're very, very inexpensive. You can grab them from Ulta if you guys wanna use your points. I like to use my points at Ulta, so. Uh, you can grab them at Ulta. They also, I do believe they have them at Target, I think. And you can definitely check them out on their website, Miss Spa. You guys, make sure you check out their, their face mask. Face mask can be extremely expensive. It is a chore. It is a luxury, nonetheless. Um, for me, it is, of course, like a necessity. Face mask can get really, really expensive, like, quickly, okay? So if you're doing mask about twice a week, which typically I do a mask about twice a week, it can get very costly very quickly higher end face mask about twenty dollars miss spa you can get these for six dollars or less okay so these are my three favorites they have a slew depending on the type of skin that you guys have they have a slew like on the site i'll make sure i link the site uh down below in the description bar so you guys check there on the way out these are the three that i like the most because again like i said i live in the desert I like to make sure that I'm hydrating and plumping my skin so that way I don't look dried out. I drink my water. So, of course, the Hydrate one uh, is definitely a really, really good one for my skin. And this one is amazing. I've tried the Hydrate one. It's not as hydrating as I would need. Again, like I said, I live in the desert, you know what I mean? So I need that extra hydration, but it is really, really good nonetheless for the price. And I don't wanna put the price up here, but it's very, very affordable. The Bee Venom, of course, B, like, duh. <laughs> the Bee Venom is amazing, okay? So it enhances your tone of your skin and the um, elasticity in your skin, but it also plumps the skin. And you can actually feel like, I don't know, like a sting, like a like a slight stinging, but it really plumps up the skin. The skin looks amazing. So for Christmas, use the Bee Venom. You have pictures that you wanna take, use the Bee Venom. If you are over a certain age, use the Bee Venom, okay? If you want your skin to be a little bit more plump, if you notice that you've lost some of the elasticity in your skin, use the Bee Venom. This one is really, really good. Um, I do think that this one is like on their higher priced mask so i think this one is like around six dollars but y'all know ulta be having those sales okay ulta have really really good sales on the miss spa mask trust me when i tell you keep your eyes out because um i've even found these for like bogo at ulta okay so keep your eyes out on these and when you do see this on sale make sure you rack up on these okay the bee venom is the bomb but that's not the one I'm going to use today. The one I'm going to use today is the hemp oil. I really, 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 really like this one. I used it uh, once before, so this is going to be my second time using the hemp oil one. But the reason why I like this one because of the hydration. It's a hydrating sheet mask. And it really bumps up the hydration in my skin. And I really need that right now. So I'm going to go in with this one. And initially, I'm just gonna let whatever comes out. Oh my God. Pressing is always better for your products, okay? So I'm just gonna press it down into the skin and you wanna press 
the product, hug the contours of your face. I just take it and I just go ham. It's juicy. These masks are really, oh my God. Oh my God, okay. These masks are really, really, really juicy. And for the price, they're the bomb. That's why I want to tell you, because for the price, these are the bomb. And because I have a whole beard, I take some lash scissors and I just cut that smile line right there. And I'm gonna, oh no, oh no. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, there we go. And see, I take it, flip it the other way and put it right on this forehead. Oh yes, huh, oh yeah, okay, see that? Now we're masked up. Now that we're masked up, and by the way, I never know the right side to put sheet mask on, so just guess like I do. Gel masks are easier to tell, but sheet masks. They can fool you a little bit. So, now that we have that, I'm going to use a jade roller. Steam and jade roll. Oh, chores and commitments. Make sure you roll up and out. After you get done rolling, just steam and enjoy. So now I'm done steaming the mask. I'm just gonna let the mask sit and let all of the nutrients from the mask transfer and penetrate deep down into the skin. And when that's done, we'll be back for our next steps. Okay, perfect. See, it's dry, but the skin is not dry. So for our under eye, I like to use a nice under eye cream. If I was wearing makeup right now, <clears throat> I would put on the Lancome, the Genifique by Lancome, the under eye cream. It's really, really good. It's light, it's hydrating, it's uh, lifting, it feels, but uh, your makeup still looks really, really good with this one, okay? so. This is what I would use if I was doing makeup, but I'm not doing makeup, so I'm gonna use the Exuviance. This is the eye contour, and I really, really like the eye contour. I really like the eye, the eye contour eye sound, so I just take a little bit. I think I overused it, but it's okay. I overuse most of my products, especially skincare. I don't know why I shouldn't. It does travel, so you don't want to take it all the way up under the eye, just like, I, just like I did. However, this is a really, really good eye cream. So it lifts, it contours, it helps with crow's feet. It's great for prevention. If you don't have any of those things, and I like to go on top, like right in my brow, on my bone. Just like that. And I do it on both sides, and I just make sure that I really have a generous amount of this product. Not too much, because I don't want it to go in my eye, of course. But I want to make sure that I have a generous amount of this product all around the eye socket because this will actually be the only product that we put directly around the eyes all right so next i'm gonna go in with a serum this is the sunday riley good jeans oh my god i literally cannot say enough about this product the sunday riley good jeans is seriously everything and i'm about to cry because 
is running out. And this product is expensive. It definitely is worth every dime though. So yeah, see that? Yeah. See, oh my God. But don't worry because I have another one. This product is amazing. It resurfaces the skin. It turns back hands of time. My skin has never looked this good. And I just wanna take it and press it down into the skin. You can use an extra amount of this product and leave it on as a mask and then gently wipe it away. I don't. I use a nice amount of this product and I literally press it and pat it into the skin and I leave it there. But Sunday Riley Good Jeans is a really good investment to make on your skin. It's that one product that stands out and it's the one product that if you don't take anything else away from this video, please try the Good Jeans from Sunday Riley, okay? Please, I'm, I keep looking over here at this term flip out. But you guys, please. Try Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. It will literally change your makeup. Literally change your makeup. And you can wear it underneath your makeup, okay? So I will put this on first, let the skin kind of absorb it a bit. And then I will go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and then I'll proceed on to foundation. But the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley is definitely good, and it most certainly is a game changer. And if I were you, if I could afford it, or once we get stimulated, go pick it up. Your skin will thank me. So for the last step, I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk Cream. Love this. You're supposed to use this. Uh, you're supposed to use this little spoon on the top. I never do. They said that's enough. I believe them. And I also get my neck. And then I just kind of press it down into the skin. Now if you want to be extra, you can steam right after this part, but I don't want to be extra. <laughs> Someone's laughing. Like now you don't want to be extra? And no, I don't. So, I just take that silk cream, press it in. If you guys want, you can go in with the oil now at this time. I'm not gonna do so right now because I'm gonna be up for a while, I'm about to eat. But this is the Midnight Recovery Oil from Kiehl's. This is uh, kind of expensive, but it really is worth it to be honest with you. And it does replenish the skin, it plumps the skin, it's an elixir also. So when you wake up in the morning, your skin is gonna be plumped, lovely, beautiful, and like absolutely stunning. With this Kills, I got my mom and my aunt on this oil. This oil is really, really good, okay? So if you guys want to cap off with a beauty oil, you can do so at this time. As for me, I always like to cap off with something light. So I'm going to use the Refresh by Miss Clarence or uh, My Clarence. A little hydration on the lips. Juvia's Place. Use code B, all caps to save. And that's about it. <laughs> if you made it this far into the video, you're definitely a beauty bee. I appreciate you so very much. Thank you so much. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. 
uh, tips, tricks. I've kind of been all over the place. So I hope you guys um, kind of have gathered great information from this video. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me guys know if there's something that I left out or if perhaps there is a skincare product that's out there on the market that you guys want me to check out, something that I need to check out. Let me know if your skincare routine is anything like this, if your makeup routine is anything like this. Trust me, this is something that you guys want to implement at least maybe two to three times a week. Um, if you have a special day, a birthday, Christmas, holiday, New Year's, celebration, ceremony, wedding, bar mitzvah, sweet 16, whatever. Whatever. trust me this is the skincare routine for you again thank you so much for <clears throat> rocking out with me I really appreciate it make sure you guys subscribe like leave me a comment down below and like I always say and I will continue to say love and like but most of all be beautiful <laughs> later Go work on your skin. Oh, and if you want, you can always watch the next video. Thanks.